you talk about the way uh, Easton played tonight overall? Well, I tell you, he really battled. I mean, he, he's a tough guy. I wish he would have slid on the one. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to, although it did create a little energy for the team. But uh, I, uh, he definitely showed that he's an NFL quarterback, and uh, we were proud of the way he played and uh, continue to move forward with him. Yep, with, uh, without getting into too many details, give away secrets. Defensively, we were, we were all curious how things might be different. What, what did you guys do defensively different with this coaching change from the guy me? Well, I think uh, Derek and the staff put a great plan together. Uh, we wanted to keep DJ close to the line, keep it uh, clean on that end. Uh, we felt like uh, inside that they would play, our guys would play well and stop the run. Uh, we tried to be a little aggressive on some different downs. Probably was a little bit different, uh, but it was a nice clean package, and uh, they were able to execute. So, how did you feel just overall about how the defense played? Yeah, I thought they played well. You know, they hit us. You know, Josh Allen's good. He can extend plays with his feet. He was able to hit the one uh, early and then the one down the sideline, and that's what he does. You know, we zeroed him at the end of the game, which I think was a great call, and lob one up and uh, had a little confusion off the stack and uh, left a guy uncovered. Uh, more times than not, that's a pick, and it's a walk-off win. Derwin's uh, role tonight, he played like three snaps this season so far. Do we expect to see that, like, uh, not him back there at safety anymore in the, the nickel where he played tonight. Yeah, going into the game, Chris, we really thought that it wouldn't be that much base. We haven't played much base, didn't see it becoming a much base, but you saw the pony looks with the two backs, and it created more of that. Uh, we really wanted him close to the line and playing fast, and he played really well. He really did. He played a good game, and uh, sometimes it goes that way. You know, if we would have known that, we would have, you know, maybe done some things a little different, but. Uh, you know, that was the plan moving in so he could be close to the line and we needed him and play physical when he did. Was that because he wanted him close to the line because of the, the way the Bills play? Or? Yeah, we thought it was uh, really good for our matchup out of their 11 personnel in the run game, having a physical guy like that. And, and uh, I think it did help us. We saw a lot when Coach Stanley was here going for our fourth down and some of that aggression. You kicked a bunch of field goals tonight. Is that just a difference? approach you're taking or was it just the circumstances in this game tonight? You know, I think we went into this game thinking it was going to be a heavyweight fight and we wanted to have a chance at the end for the knockout. And so we were going to play it a little close to the vest. Team knew that. Get points on the board and uh, give ourselves a chance to win and that's the way it went and uh, came up a little short. Buffalo's final drive, did you consider just letting them score to give yourself a little bit more time? Or did you, did you just kind of just want to play it out the way? We, we, we talked about it. Uh, you know, when they reviewed the call, there's a part of me that was hoping they were going to say he wasn't down, let him score so we'd have more time. Uh, but, uh, you know, coach over there does a great job, and uh, they would have they would have slid if we would have tried to let him, you know, free away. But, yeah, we did have that discussion, but they had enough time to talk to their players in, in the situation at hand. So uh, we went with what we did. Coach, you uh... – Cameron Dicker, can you talk about the way he kicked the ball tonight? <laughs> you know, him and uh, J.K. Scott, we got two of the best, and we rode them today, fellas. We really did, and that was the plan going in. We were going to use them, but Dicker, I mean, he's he's a cool cat. You know, kickers are different, and uh, but we sure are glad we got him. What was the experience like being a head coach, and what did you think of the way the guys responded to the way things have changed the last week? Yeah, I think once you get on the field, then it's a lot more comfortable than all the other stuff. Um, the staff, everybody did a great job. Uh, I think the team responded to the message that the organization and the staff had. And, uh, you know, there's not moral victories in any of this, but they learn or they really achieve fighting for each other and knowing what that feels like. And I thought they did that. The fresh start what was the, seemed what was the message? Going into the game? Yeah. Yeah, going into the game, we wanted to keep it close, have a chance to win it at the end. Uh, but we wanted every play – to fight for each other, no matter what. And if there was ever a guy that wasn't going to do it, we were going to pull him out. But we didn't have any of that, and they fought. They fought every play. The fresh start seemed to re-energize the team. They were excited to you to get a chance. Did you feel that all week long leading up to this game? Yeah, I, I felt like going into the game, I truly felt like they'd play hard. I really did. My question going into the game was, how would they react the first time Buffalo punches you in the face? So we go up, and then Buffalo scores 14 to 10. Could be where you crash and what burn. And they rallied, and they fought. So that, that's the step in the right direction.